Next, we will go with respect to the codes and standards. Okay, the <coughs> codes and standards in the sense what? The regulations. In every city, in every country, we are having certain role as well as regulation. As well as we are having some standards. Okay, for the different different departments. If you are working as an electrical engineer, you have to follow some standards. If you are working as a mechanical engineer, you have to follow some standards. If you are working as a civil engineer or any kind of plumbing, firefighting engineer, you have to follow some standards. Okay. So first thing over here is nothing but NEC, nothing but National Electrical Code. Okay. So this is a platform for the electrical department. NEC, National Electrical Code, is a platform for the building designing. Out of this NEC only, we are having multiple different different standards. They have adopted different different standards like for example when you go for the UAE when you go for the Qatar when you go for the Saudi Arabia they are having again different different but all those regulations they have taken from the NEC only okay they have copied almost in there and if you are perfect with respect to NEC they can go for any of the standard it will be very easy for you again we are having NPC national building code this national building code is common for each and every individual department like NEC is fixed for only electrical and NBC is for everyone Okay, by means of NBC, even electrical engineer can share his knowledge, even the mechanical engineer or with respect to any other department also. So NBC is common. But following by going with respect to NBC, you have to work with respect to NEC. Again, NEIS, National Electrical Installation Standards. Okay, like as per the standard. For example, I have purchased a transformer. There is a transformer in my project. So with respect to the size, okay, how much amount of clearance I have to use, what should be the base height. Okay, only number of earthing pits I have to provide, watch with the resistance value I have to maintain, etc. Et so those those com things come with respect to the installation side, not for the transformer, even for the generator also, for the MTB also, etc. Et for each and every individual area. Again, yeah, we are having NECA, National Electrical Contractors Associations. Okay, as we know that if you want if you want to execute something on the site, we require a teamwork. Okay, so teamwork will be of supervisor, foreman, technician. So generally a consultant will not go for the site executions. They will be having contractors for that. And whoever contract they will select, okay, they should be certified with respect to this department. I think the National Electrical Contractors Associations. So these contractors works with respect to the execution side. Being consultant, we will develop a drawing. Okay. Execution part will look after your contractors. Again, the British standard BS, the name itself indicates which works for your British countries. Okay, again the BWE, Beauty of Energy Efficiency. Okay, very very important standard. This uh, important standard these years. Okay, for example, you have purchased any kind of heavy load equipments in your home, like your air condition or your refrigerator or your water heaters, etc., etc. So you can see you'll be having some star ratings on that. <coughs> okay, like three star, four star, five star, etc., etc. So which department people has given those values? I think, but the BWE people have given those values. That means what? How much amount of electrical consumption will be done by means of this equipment? And when you go for the local manufacturer, you will not have those star levels. Okay? So whenever you go for the branded manufacturer, okay, we have to follow the star rating. It is very, very important. Next is the thing about the IEEE, Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineering, okay, for the research and development, okay, for the electrical side, for the electronic side. Okay, with respect to the power system, with respect to power electronics, with respect to control systems, with respect to the network theories, okay, anything, whatever you want to go with respect to your research. So we are having some standards. For example, as per the standard, okay, as per the IEEE standard, the voltage drop should be less than 5%. As per the standards of IEEE, the harmonic level at the current side, at the voltage side should be less than 3%. So these standards we are having. So we have to follow those standards. IES, International Electrotechnical Commissioning, the name itself indicates, which works with the QAQC department, quality assurance and quality control. Okay, those people will follow this, this particular standard. Again, the IER, Indian Electrical Rules, which are followed generally in India. Okay, when you, whenever you work for any kind of electrical equipments, again, the ISO, International Standard Organization. So whenever you are working with respect to any of the consultant or any of the contractor, okay, they should be an ISO certified, so that they will be valid internationally. It's a type of standard actually, with respect to the infrastructure, with respect to the team, etc. Et we are having some standards for this. Again, the IS Indian standard, okay, the name itself indicate. Again, we are having IE uh, Diva, okay, nothing but Dubai Electrical and Water Authority or Association Charge Electrical and Water Authority, again the Abu Dhabi. These three things works with respect to the UAE country. In the UAE country, almost we are having some six to seven cities. For all the six to seven cities, we are having different, different regulations. And if you are working with respect to any one of the regulation, you can work for this regulation also, you can work for this regulation also. No worries. Almost it is similar. We have just almost changed the name, I can say, because I have worked with respect to all these three regulations. 
okay no major issue with respect to the regulations okay almost like a slight, slight difference of 10% will be there that to to overcome the copyright that's it again the nima national electrical and manufacturing associations with respect to the manufacturing side okay <clears throat> again the nfpa national fire and protection associations for the fire fighting people for the fire fighting people we are having this standard again the fsa fire security association of india again for the fire fighting ipc indian plumbing code <clears throat> okay so again for the plumbing department we are having the ashtray ishtray for the mechanical engineers for the hvac department american society of heating refrigeration air conditioning engineers indian society of heating refrigeration and air conditioning engineers okay these two things comes with through the mechanical along with this we are having other things also like smack ma etc etc but only for understanding point of view i'm showing you this again the nibosh isosh as well as osha okay so these three comes with this particular safety engineer with this particular safety department okay so these are the certification examination which generally the people who are not this particular technical background they will opt for this okay so national examination in board in educational safety and health issue of occupational safety and health occupational safety and health administration etc etc okay these are for the safety point of view as we can see that on every site nowadays we are having a safety engineer okay so when they are certified with respect to these particular areas okay they can be called as a safety engineer they can work as a safety engineer okay these are actually certification examinations 